What's up guys, I'm Shane. Welcome back to our North Texas Dynasty. This week we have our rivalry game against Mid-Tennessee State. We actually have another rivalry game later on against SMU, who I didn't realize we were rivals with, or I would have scheduled them last year. This is the debut of Mason Fine in this dynasty. On is just not doing it this season. I know I've made a couple bad reads, but it's just, it's, something's not working. I think it's time. Now, quick look at the recruiting. Russ Simpson, we still have the lead. It's only Ball State really competing with us. Everyone else, we've got over a thousand point lead on him. Roy Abrams, he's coming in to visit this week. Texas is waiting all the way until week 13. Big mistake. We'll have him signed by then. Smith, we are right there. Roden, we're just, we're running away with him. Pitts, we're still slowly pulling away. Matthews, we're just in the conversation. We got a plus 90 that last week. Ronnie Shaw, we have the lead on. Kevin Shaw, we have the lead on. No relation. And Brian Phillips, look, we gained a ton on Michigan State. Yeah, they must have just offered him a scholarship and left it at that. So we might have a chance at him as well. So our recruiting board looks pretty set. Nick Smith still holding strong at the top of the board. We dropped all the way down to number 40 after that loss. So that's unfortunate. We went from a B championship contender all the way down to a C plus. All right, let's go. We got them at home again. We're, I mean, I'm just going to schedule the rivalry games as a home game every time. Just for the bonuses to the uh, recruits. Our target wins is still only six. We're not at any risk of getting fired as long as we, you know, we just have to go 500. And even if we go like five and seven, it's not bad. I'll just feel bad about it because we handled Auburn, we handled Texas, and then we couldn't do anything against East Carolina. So Ray Abrams want two picks. We've only got one, on the, or we got two picks in the first game against Texas, and that's it. Four swats, we never get those. Let's start off with a fun thing. Let's try to read option, which I don't know how to do. Oh, he got horse collared, but... Good start for fine. Good start. These guys took us to overtime last year. Let's not let's not make it that close. I know it'd be flashier to go for a big play on third and one, but I'd rather just get the first down. This team's still not great. Like it looks better than last year, but we were terrible last year. All right, throwing the run is still kind of an issue, but at least he caught it. All right, I'm two for two on these. I did tweak Mason Fine a little bit. He's still an 89 overall. I actually took his awareness down to a 90 and put that into his speed. Just so he'd feel different, because otherwise it's just on with more awareness, which doesn't actually affect anything when I'm playing. Nope. Good blitz pickup by that guy. Slide. That was close. That's the play of the game. That... Who picked up that blitz? Is that a... Give me a replay. I don't even know who that was. But that should have been a sack. He grabbed that blitz at the last possible second, and I managed to turn that into a good run. Yeah, now that... Oh, he got the swat. But now they have to respect the PA smash, because I will run it. Fourth and inches. You know I'm going to go for it. They see what's coming, though. That's all right. Perfect. Perfect throw. All right, now defense, it is your turn to play better. Nope. Oh, it's more of this crap, huh? And he threw that one for a negative one yard pass. And the one thing I learned about Darden today, you guys, he's got 99 catching. The rest of his catch skills are like mid, like, like high 70s, low 80s, but at least he's got 99 catching. 
I don't know that I want to do an option play right here, but let's try it. I feel like just watching people play this game so much, through osmosis I have learned how to run the read option. Because the last time I tried this, I couldn't. It just was not something that I could do. Oh, he was right in my face. I didn't see him. Alright, let's try four verts. A 19-yard reception just gets it to third and five. That's how bad that last sack was. Hardy has shown that he's got pretty decent hands so far this year. No, that sucks. That sucks so bad, but there was nothing. Everyone was covered, and I couldn't run it. Oh my god, that guy was a monster! Oh, come on, Gaddy. You're supposed to be my reliable tackler. Is that Morris on there? I'm feeling like... I should put Gaddy back as my slot corner. I just think that's the best position for him. And the pressure got there. Oh my god, so Ward is completely useless if he does not have conservative catch. I have a wide receiver with 99 catch, and I have to do conservative catch because no one else on the team can catch a damn ball. And also Darden with the great downfield block. We have 10 first downs because that drive stalled out. We're only up 7-3. to three. It looks so much worse. Oh, but it'll make a contested catch. Okay. And that is the power of conservative catching. Whoa. Mason Fine's accuracy isn't there either, apparently. Darden was wide open on that. Yeah, just like that, only the other way around. Is that Marvin Harris's first touchdown of his career? The first of many, I hope. All right, so second half, we're up 14-3. So comfortable position to be in. We had a two-score lead last time and blew it. Or was that Texas? I don't remember. Everything's blending together now. There you go, Gaddy. There. Again, he's my reliable guy. Gaddy about to get that plus seven again. Because it's certainly not going to be on. Nope. Nope. <laughs> conservative tackle and it doesn't matter so conservative catch breaks the game but conservative tackle nah Whitlock come down I mean we need the deflections to impress the recruit but please come down with that we need interceptions to impress them too Whitlock I went for the hit stick there and he just bounced right off him he didn't truck him, he just ragdolled, he wrapped around and flew away. I was hoping I could bait him, but I wasn't in quite the right position for that. Beautiful catch by Darden. See if Ward could just, if I didn't have to have conservative tackle on. It'd be nice, because Ward, for some reason, is always the one wide open. Read that one wrong, and he broke a tackle anyways. Perfect ball placement. I know I should run that read option, but this has always been what Nick Smith does. Just right up. Yep. No point in doing an option play. Just let him run straight up. Got him that time. And down with the sack. There's Dotson again. Dotson has taken over Noville. He's apparently the new beast, and I'm pretty sure he's 
Is he a redshirt freshman? Yo, I can't with this eagle popping out of the wall. We need to stop. Can I get rid of him? Can I just not have a mascot anymore? You guys aren't fast enough to catch me. And I'll take that out of bounds. Alright, I think it's Nick Smith time. If we're not going to get... Whoa. If we're not going to get him the yards, then at least let's, let us get him the touchdowns. Let's take a play four on a D-line. They see through this. And I had a clean hole right up there to go through. Well, I just look silly right there. That was a beautiful pass. I'm not even mad. I guess bring the blitz. Alright, and they're definitely going for it here. Okay, I had the spy and he just sat there watching him. Alright, Murphy, you're the spy. Because we're not going to need that deep zone. I don't know why I say things, because I don't do what I say I'm going to do. Alright, welcome to the Nick Smith Show. Where all we're going to do is halfback dies with Nick Smith. Because we got to keep him in the Heisman race. I don't think the safety is going to be impressed. But I think he's going to see that his presence is very much so needed. I might have to put him at cornerback. He might be my fastest guy. And will this be his touchdown? Yes, it will. Is it wrong to go for this right now? You bet. But I still got two seconds left, so I can try it again. I mean, if you're not going to cover Smith, then I'm just going to take the easy yards. It's a weird play of the game, but all right. <laughs> Everyone just falling all over themselves. All right, so final stats on the day. Mason Fine, 16 to 24, 228 yards, two touchdowns. He did take the two sacks, which affects his rushing totals. Smith, 20 carries, 106 yards for three touchdowns, no broken tackles. Mason Fine, on the other hand, 14 carries for 90 yards, no touchdowns, one for over 20 yards and a broken tackle. I understand now, Mason Fine entirely. Give that, give this man the Heisman. Nick Smith, four catches for 67 yards. Deontay Simpson, four for 36. Darden, kind of quiet, three for 43. Marvin Harris with one catch for a touchdown. We definitely were not trying to pass the ball as much today. Tackles, Muhammad with six. Murphy with six. A, a TFL and a sack. Jacobs with two TFLs of his three tackles and a sack. And Dotson, two TFLs, two sacks. Noville did have a sack today. We did not have any interceptions. And Whitlock had the only pass deflection for the secondary. So no bonus points for their recruit other than beating the rival school. But that's why I hate bringing in them. So thank you guys so much for watching. Welcome to the Mason Fine era for at least the next, you know, nine games or whatever it ends up being. If you want to see how this series continues, please be sure to hit subscribe down below. Hit the bell to get notifications every single time I make an upload. Leave it in the comments down below. We got all these recruits. We're doing pretty well. If you would like to name them, either by after yourself or just some other name you want to come up with, put it down in the comments section. Anyone who subscribed to me will have the right to do that. Regardless, any other comment you leave, I will reply to all of them unless you are the trolliest of the trolls. I'll see you guys next time. I'm Shane. I'm out.